Previously on the bill. You try and cut them off at Raymond Street. I'm still chasing them, Tony. Oh! Shoot. I'll be back. No. I'll go to the hospital myself. Yeah. Thanks, Smithy. Bad news, I take it. One of my sergeants has just been knocked over. I pity the suspect when your relief got hold of him. It was my area car driver. Ah. Who'd run a police station? Not me. Still, you always did love a challenge. This is what I could do without. It was only yesterday I was showing you the ropes. Now look at you. Sometimes I wish I was still with the OCG. No, you're a political animal. And a damn good one, I hear. Bill, stop trying to butter me up. We only want him for a week. Two, maybe, Max? Gary's not experienced enough. He's only just got his UC2 ticket. Well, at least let him make up his own mind. Come. You wanted to see me, sir? PC Best. I've heard good things about you. DCI Wicklow of the organized crime group. Bill Wicklow? One big case, and suddenly you're a celebrity. No, it wasn't just a bullying job. You've put away half the faces south of the river. So how do you fancy doing a bit of undercover work for us? Read the small print first. My brother's in London. Didn't you know? We don't speak much. Joe's been living in Woolworth for the past six months. He's been picked up on our radar for drug dealing. What we want to know is, who's supplying him? I've got no idea. How much do you know about football? Well, I'm a City fan through and through, like my brother. Not anymore. He's supporting a local side. Low league stuff, but uh, some of the fans are hardcore. More interested in a ruck than the final score. It's a tight network. The perfect breeding ground for organised crime. So? We've got enough evidence to charge Joe with intent to supply but we'd rather nail the organ grinder. So what can I do? Persuade your brother to become an informant. How's Jude? Early days. I'm not Joe Public, Beryl. You know the score. X-ray, CT, blood tests. These things take a while. You spend enough time in the nurse's lounge with your feet up drinking our coffee to know that. If your brother plays ball, we can minimise any charges brought against him. I'm the last person you should be asking after what happened. I heard. I'm sorry about your father. Thanks. But he died a hero. And it's because of you that he turned over a new leaf. Try telling that to my family. Sometimes we need to help others help themselves. Without you, all we can offer Joe is prison. You're his only hope. Spare him the violins, could you? As I said, sir, I have the borough commander's full support on this. Look. Joe's not going to talk to me, is he? Not without resigning from the job, no. It's just a cover story. Hitting a sergeant. Smithy, is it? If Gary goes for it. The super, myself, and Sergeant Smith will know the truth. As far as the rest of the relief are concerned, you lost your rag. Suspended immediately without so much as a goodbye. Joe still won't talk to me. Not now. How do you know until you try? I'm sorry, but I'd be wasting your time. Back to bed, please. I haven't got concussion. You some of the symptoms? Confusion? Irritation? You feel sick? You could say that. Come on. Tony. Sir. How are you? It's June you should be worried about. Uh, let me introduce you to the doctor. So what happened? <laughs> We're on a pursuit. June gave chase on foot, I drove around the block. Bam! She shoots out in front of me. Next thing I know... I thought class one drivers needed eyes in the back of the way. It wasn't my fault! Oh, no, I didn't mean... Why didn't you get yourself on me? Who have I got to go and beat Gary? I wish you. 
We'll know more after the CT and X-rays. I want you posted here. Ring me if there are any developments. Well, actually, um, I was thinking of taking up DCI Wicklow's offer. Do you really think Joe is going to take your advice and roll over on a drug dealer after what happened with your father? Can I ask you a personal question, sir? Fire away. Why did you stand by your wife during her embezzlement investigation? I always knew she was innocent. And would you have turned your back if she wasn't? I'll phone DCI right for her. Where do they all meet? Collington Arms on Teesden Road. Stone throw from the wall with Harriers Football Club. Place is a stronghold for the team's party faithful. Here he comes. Happy birthday! I guess the drinks are on me tonight, eh? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a couple of years yet before you pension me off. <laughs> Still, I could use it to beat you lot with. Hey. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hey, that's just the way you like it, Banksy. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Sorry I'm late. DPA are doing a good job. Another day, another drugs initiative. Happy birthday. PC best at your service. He's keen, that's good. The I Henry will be your handler day to day. But I thought I'd be working with you. No, this is Tom's brainchild, don't mind. Next time you can do your own groveling. Superintendent O'Cara always was a stubborn old goat. We found your bed sitting a job as a security guard at the local shopping centre. You've heard from your mother that Joe's around and you want to sort things out. Well, does my mum know where he is? She sends on his mail. Mainly court summonses for parking offences. We want you to establish where he gets his drugs. Keep your eyes and ears open and your mouth shut. What about a uniform? Banksy, uniform! Oh, you are joking. Welcome to OCG, kid. You all right? Where'd you get your trainers? Covent Garden. There's a shop up there, but there's imports. No thanks. I like trainers. My gran always gets me trainers. I've got loads of trainers. That's nice. Do you want to come to my house to see my trainers? Um, 11 Dara Road, EC9, 8JU. Fine. Leave him alone, eh? Just having a quiet drink. Sorry about him. Sound was short of a picnic. Sound was snuff, though. Quite sweet, really, aren't you, Brian? No worries. I haven't seen you in here before. No, I've just moved in the area, you know, just feeling my way about. How's it going? Feeling your way about? I'm all right, yeah. yeah. Oi! Well, you should be behind the bar, though. Yeah, well, you're not on the terraces now, all right? Sorry. It's all right. What are you doing here? Who's this? He used to be my brother. Until he grasped up our dad and got him sent down. Oi, everyone! Look what we've got here. A pig escaped from the farm. How's about we carve him up? You're a copper. No, I'm not anymore, I'm not. I told you at Dad's funeral. I saw you again, I'd kill you. Don't join, not here. Please. Shut up! Well, just let me buy you a pack. Don't want your money, Judas. Don't want you in here at all. Yo, somebody grab his hand. Yo, please, I just want to talk to you. You've had your say. Now it's my turn. And don't come back. Do you get me? Get out of here before Joe decides to have another go, yeah? There's a cab office around the corner you can Just use. Just leave it, yeah. She lifted it from me. If I'd known you my boyfriend's brother, I wouldn't have bothered. You keep old your mummy's hand next time, yeah? Didn't know coppers wore grey these days? Yeah, well, I got kicked out last week, didn't I? Not that Joe would listen to me. So why do you even bother to turn up? Because he's my brother. Someone's got to try and patch things up. How's the lip? I'll live. You were lucky. He can do far worse. But will you have a word with him for me? I mean, maybe you can persuade him to wear me out. 
See, I've got a death wish. Forget it, mate. Do us all a favour and get a job elsewhere. Um, June Ackland, where is she? Are you next to Kin? No, I'm at work. I'm a friend. Okay, just give me a minute. Jim. She just ran out in front of the car. There was nothing I could do. Talk about Deja on Fairway time. That was six years ago and I was cleared. Not a week goes by that I don't think about it. Every time I take the wheel. Once it's an accident, twice it's my fault. Get me out of here. I didn't let him go. Got to see a CCTV. He went down like a sack of ties. Lawrence Olivier would have been proud of you. He belted me. Brian McVinney wouldn't have to fly. You know him? Of course I do. He drinks down at the court in arms with the likes of your brother. But you knew that already. Never heard of the bloke. Oh, so you wouldn't be turning a blind eye to get on the side of Joe, eh? No, sir. Ah, uh, you remind me of my son. Bright boy. Terrible liar. Officially, you were out of line. Unofficially, I appreciate you did what you had to. But just remember the golden rule. No proactive involvement in criminal activity. You stick your neck out too far for brother Joe. And it could cost you your career. But him and my mum have all I've got left. Even my sister don't want to know me. I don't doubt your loyalty, Gary. You're a man after my own heart. But we can't offer Joe a deal if he decides to turn an informant. That is up to the CPS. So whatever promises DCI Wicklow made you, don't count them. Make it sound like you don't even want a result. Where do you see yourself in five, ten years' time? In your chair, I reckon. The world isn't just made up of good guys and bad guys, Gary. You've lost me. Sometimes the good guys have to behave badly to get a result, even if it means breaking promises. In the end, it all boils down to politics. Why are you telling me all this? Because I like you. Here, you'll need some cash to keep you going. We'll sort the paperwork out later. Well, the security firm will hardly want you back after today's escapade. 40 quid, is that it? You're on Job Seekers Allowance now, kid. Welcome to the world of the unemployed. I told you to stay away. I'll have a pint, please. Didn't you get it the first time? That's him! Oi, put him down, Dexy, put him down. Shame on you, Joe. I heard it took three blokes to sort your brother out. That's your rematch, do you? Do it proper. He's got reason to be upset at me. Oh, you're all art, aren't you? Brian here tells me you let him do a runner this morning and all. He's a Harriers fan, like me. Since when? Since he brought in Dave Inglis. He is a Mancunian after all. You always swore you were a City fan. Well, I can't get to see him play, can I? And I'm not going to support some London Premiership team while the Blues are in the same league. What do you think of our new manager then, eh? Vincent Sables. <laughs> Likes to play 4-3-3, but it ain't working. He should be playing 4-4-2, Mickey Feltman and Inglis up front. Hey, that's what I said, Lenny, 4-4-2. No, no. I ain't seen you on the terraces, mate. Another reason why I resigned from the force. Lose most of your Saturdays. Well, why don't you come with us this weekend? Across the river for the derby. Why not? You fancy yourself as a bit of a hard nut, do you? Must run in the family, eh, Jack? You just stay out of my way, yeah? Ta. How is she today? Still a little weak. But she should be off the monitors by tomorrow. 
Don't stay too long. I bought you some magazines. I wasn't quite sure what you liked, so I bought a few. Mm. I've taken the afternoon off just in case you needed anything. Everybody sends a love, even Gina. <laughs> and uh, Honey has been banging on about some crystal she's got for you. It helps the healing process, apparently. Oh, and Gary, I mean, I don't quite believe it, but Gary has been suspended. He wallops Smithy. I mean, Smithy won't talk about it, but Gary's gone like a puff of smoke. Do you know where I was? You won't add your address in Dumbo. What a dump. Look like I could do with a cuppa. Kettle's just boiled. Your wallet. Sorry for stiffing you. I'm only casual at the bar, cash and hand stuff, and it doesn't get me very far. You must think I'm a right mug. Not really. So what are you doing here, anyway? Lenny, said to me at the train station tomorrow, half twelve. And what does Joe think about that? What do you think? It's a pity he hates me so much. I think... <laughs> what you did for your mum, that was amazing. I wish I had a brother like you. <laughs> You're kind of cute. Cigarette burns? Who gave you them? I've got to go. Come on! Yo, you're getting a marching paddle there. I'm running low. Another half key should do it. Oh, not now, man. Sweet. Not now, eh? Quick. Yeah, yeah, late, isn't it? Yo, you want it, Laura? No, I'm not. <laughs> Fired up already. You don't even know yet, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, Boris! Run, boy, run! Come on! That's nice, but he's a bit slow. Yeah, chill out, mate. He's my cousin, all right? You don't mind, do you, Fry? Hey, hey, no, Fry! Don't worry about yourself, but are you? You gonna finish that? What's my appetite, anyway? I wish I was coming in with you. Lenny says I'm too soft. What do you mean? Did Joe tell you? You're gonna be our terrorist cell. We're gonna take their mana. That's right. And then we're gonna find out what side of the line you're really on, eh? <laughs> What's that smell? Watch yourself! Look at me! What's the matter, brother? Fill in your kegs. You've got a big mouth, do you know that? Yeah, a fake guy. <laughs> And then he's about to find out when he does, he's gonna kick the head in. <laughs> yeah? One word, boys, we are here! Steal your women and drink your beer! Welcome to the firm, my friend! I was being tested. I couldn't back out. You're a police officer, not a hooligan. I've been accepted into the gang. And I've worked out who Joe's getting his drugs from. Lenny Boswell. Told you, sir. I thought you didn't know who Joe's supplier was. We needed it corroborated. Well, all the more reason to pull Gary out. And Boswell's a nasty piece of work. He used to be an enforcer for a heavyweight dealer called John Nash. You put Nash away last month. It was in the paper. Aye, well, there's been a power vacuum. Looks like Boswell's aiming to be top dog. 
Then I suggest we throw all our resources at him. Gary's job here is done. Now, well, don't let's be too hasty, sir. I mean, all we want from Gary is the where and when of a drugs pickup. Save us months in surveillance work. No, I made a promise to Superintendent Nakara. This isn't the Little League anymore. But I can hack it. Besides, Boswell's not Gary's target. His brother is. That means Gary's one step removed. Now, all I'm advocating is that he passes on second-hand information. Boswell is a no-go area, OK? Won't touch him with a barge pole. Keep your nose clean from now on. Big up the road, boy! <laughs> no respect, man. Right. Where'd you get to, then? Well, I'm ex-job out of... I mean, they're bound to keep me in just for the fun of it. <laughs> Lucky bro. Yeah, whatever. Come on, Joey. Give Gary a break for once, huh? You're lucky she likes you. Gary! Just cos you can't get yourself a bird. <laughs> and who'd you smack, then, to get kicked out of the force? Who told you about that? Our friends down at the local Nick checked you out. It was a night out with a relief. Smacked one of the sergeants. <laughs> You fancy the game of pool? Not you. Him. What, when it stays on? Get the beers in, rude boy. I'll rack them up. Hey, you couldn't lend us a tenner, could you? Do what? In the house. So hold up! These are my mates! My world! Look, I'm not here to take over. I came here to sort things out with you, you and me brother. Blood's thicker than water, innit? Pity that didn't apply to our old man. You got him sent down! Look, I couldn't ignore what was going on, could I? Hey? Lying in bed every night, praying he wouldn't start a mum after the pub shut. Seeing her the next day, acting as if nothing had happened. I hated him for what he did to her. And to you. And you're the one he comes to see when he gets out of prison? How come he wanted to make it up to you? He never even fought me! <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry. Joe, I'm really sorry! <sighs> At least let me buy you a drink. You won't get any money, you pillock. You pay me back tomorrow. I promise. had intelligence that Boswell was trying to expand his drugs business. He's trying to muscle in a firm run by a Greek Cypriot called George Andriakis. Now, if anything is down, you let me know. The last thing I want is a bloodbath on my patch. Is that it? Repeat after me. George Andriakis, Greek Cypriot, I've got it. Hey, are you in a promise or something? Joe's picking me up in five minutes. Reckons we should go and let our air down. So he's up and up with you. That's good. Yeah, it is. Chef assures me it's bacon. You look like you could do with it more than me. Eat something. The early shift finished six hours ago. I'm terrified if I walk out the door, you won't let me back in. How did your interview with traffic go? I just kept thinking about the last time I sat opposite one of those guys. I killed pedestrian, do you know that? You were cleared. You still carry the memory. Getting out of the car. Seeing him wedged under the wheels. Could have been you. Don't do this to yourself. If traffic find that it was my fault, that's it. Suddenly, look at another criminal investigation. I'd just take away my driving privileges. My warrant card. It's easy to see the worst scenario when you're under stress. You're a good driver, Tony. Jotsop. No, you're right. Suit yourself. What are we doing here, anyway? Bumping up our gyros, guys. You'd pimp your own girlfriend. Clipping isn't being on the game. We pick up a gullible punter, Elaine negotiates cash up front, and then does a runner back to the car. Well, sadly, a great career move, is it? 
it's only acting. I just flutter my eyelid and ask them what they want. Yeah, whatever. Let's do him over. Nice car. Family man, probably. Look at him eyeing her up. Young enough to be his daughter. Go on, then. <laughs> there are easier ways of earning money, you know. Not many. Is that all she is to you? Hey, a piece of meat? What are you getting at? Where did she get those sig burns on her arms? Nothing to do with me, mate. Mad cow. We've still got 30 quid left. Oh, let's go clubbing or something. All right, Lena. What time? I haven't had a boogie in ages. I feel like something cheesy like S Club or something. It's a bit young, isn't it? All right, see you there. I suppose you like all that grungy guitar rubbish like him. Change of plan. Lenny wants to meet. Where? Not us, Gary. Me. Wants to be down at searches. Ask me it's better than nothing, I suppose. You're not coming. It's work. Selling a bunch of pills isn't work. Come on, it'll be fun, the three of us. Besides, so Lenny working the door, you can get some free. No. Please, come on. Get off! Let's go. <laughs> right, oh. Never mind. Thanks for the ice cream. Joe never buys me stuff like that. Why are you still with him? Because I love him. I saw him flinch in the car. Slaps you about. I can't get on his nerves. I go on a bit, you know? Well, that's no excuse. You don't know him like I do. It's like he's this little boy. He can't express himself. He's always sorry afterwards. What, and that makes it all right? Well, sometimes he says the sweetest things. Like this one time we were talking about growing up and stuff. And you know what he says? Diamonds come from coal. Don't get it. Well, like, where we come from, our parents, we like, worthless and produce these wonderful things. Oh, very romantic. Don't tell him you know, will you? Promise me. OK. Cross your heart. How old are you? Old enough now, go on. Thank you. Taxi. Taxi. Tony, how was traffic? The area cars been given the once over. Brakes are fine. Only leaves Chuminera. They've already made up their mind on that one. Excuse me. Uh, June's asleep. She needs a rest. Since when do they make you a nurse? You don't want to jeopardise your investigation. I need to see her. Well, I can pass on a message. It's typical of you. I'd be on the job when it suits. I've got June's best interests at heart. It's a bit late for being overprotective, don't you think? I'm only going by what the doctor said. You can't keep it to yourself. You had your chance and you blew it. I am thinking of you. Think of yourself. Tony. Yeah, Lenny, have you got that merchandise asked for? No, not now, mate. And another one. What's up? Everyone's waiting on delivery. If you don't hurry up, Joey's gonna start losing customers. Who's that bloke with Lenny, anyway? Never seen him around here before. Oi, Brian, come here. Who's that bloke talking to Lena? I can't say. Don't mess us about, you moron. Brian, what's it worth? <laughs> and your fags. <laughs> you can't tell me my guy's slow, man. Deal. Uh, some bloke with connections to that Greek geezer. Reckons he can get hold of some cheap stuff. You know, drugs and that. Oh, and I thought it was going to be something interesting. Same again. Yeah, go on. Man. Yeah. So how much coke you after then, eh? Usual, half a key. What about heroin? Interesting. Only I'm thinking of branching out. If it makes me money. Anything to do with that bloke who just left? That's just a swear I recognised his face from somewhere, that's all. Where'd you say he was from? I didn't. Old habits die hard, don't I, son? Sorry? Coppers, you always asking questions. My brother for you. Never knows when to keep his gob shut. 
دیگه نه هست شده آبا هلو آره سوی آره یه ام یه جست گیمی 20 دقیقه آره آره نانس بون بیت سکرت تو کینی گیت می یه این گای یو فکر یو رکنیزد این نام است باری جونز My mistake. Never heard of him. I reckon it's time you put your mouth to good use. What do you mean? Well, I want him checked out, all right? I reckon he's a bit of a face with heavyweight connections. I thought you had a contact at the neck. Yeah, yeah. He got rumbled. I need an alternative source. Leave it with me. Right answer. Ripping off curb dollars with Joe's one thing, but on your own, you're mad. So I nicked the guy's wallet, he's dropped the charges anyway. It's not the point. Why are you making such a big deal about this? Because, excuse me, I didn't know you was only 16 years old. Look, I appreciate you coming down here and sitting in on the interview as a thingamabob. Yeah, appropriate adult. Where's the fire? It's sorted. What about your parents, eh? Do they know where you are? What are you getting up to? They wouldn't even care if they did. Dad left years ago and Mum's too busy with her boyfriend to even miss me. Yeah, it can't be that bad. Bad? Bad's when your mum's boyfriend thinks he can touch you when she's upstairs having a bath or in the kitchen making dinner. Bad is when your mum won't believe a word you say! Sorry. I travelled 200 miles to get away from him, but Graham came with me in here! And here! You did that? I hate myself for what he did! To get everything for me! If Andriakis knows there's a mole within his ranks. What, you think this Barry Jones took Lenny off to a drugs deal? There is no such thing as honour amongst thieves. Mugshot. Full record. All he's lacking now are Barry's references. What, you get into trouble for this? You just keep your eyes and ears open. And do not get involved. No participation in criminal acts and other rules. Aye, only you pick and choose when to follow them. Especially when Elaine Ward's involved. Do you fancy her? No. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that if Joe finds out. You deserve better than this, you know. Some dead end job and a boyfriend that hits you. It's better than what I had, believe me. At least phone you, Mum. Hey, hey! Shut! Get your butt up. I'll do it. Thank you. Very kind of you, mate. Here, you go, babe. Hi, right, Lenny. Got something for you. Now, rule number one: always know who you're dealing with. That's an impressive CV. He's kosher. Your brother's done well, Joe. If he's so reliable, why not send him on the filthy job? Well, if you don't want the money, how about it? You fancy working for me? Mr. Philby? Yeah? I come to collect on behalf of Mr. Boswell. <gasps> What's up? What's the matter with you? My inhaler! Oh, no, no, please, no! <gasps> How are you feeling now? I only got out of hospital last week. Asthma. Stress makes it worse, you know that, don't you? What, are you back at work? No one else to run the place. I had to make cutbacks. Ah, oh, this business. The technology moves so fast. Everything's digital. The banks, they don't care. The place is already on the market. Look, I really need that two grand interest, Mr Philby. It'll save us both for kicking. Do your worst. There's nothing left anyway. Is that your car? Oh, let me. Oh. Oh. Tony. See, I told you he was here. Uh. Oh, 
don't think I should leave you to it. I'm so sorry. Hello, Tony. Copy back. Tony! Why didn't you hold the doors for me? The stairs are a killer. Sorry. Didn't see you. But I don't get it. First you want to see it, now you don't. It's difficult. What is? It's difficult just being the spare part. I don't get it. Well, you've heard the saying, three's a crowd? Us? We're old news, we're history. Come on, Jimmy, you're trying to kid me. Look, I watched you in there. You still care about her. So do yourself a favour, go back in there and tell her. <laughs> oh, word! Two grand, solo. I can't believe you squeezed this guy for his motor as well. Never look a gift horse in the mouth, though. Especially when it's on its knees begging you to stop. Yeah, this could be pretty useful. You got a real talent for this, haven't you? How can you? How can you criticise Joe for using his fist and then and then go and make money doing the same? I didn't hurt the guy, did I? Oh, come on. Just paid up like that. I've been saving for a motor anyway, right? I struck a deal with him. His car's worth about 1,800 quid, so I took that and I got the money out of the bank to pay Lenny up. So you're now out of pocket, huh? He's got a good CD player. You're a funny one, aren't you? I thought your shift finished an hour ago. Yeah, I'm going. I thought we could have a quiet night in. Just the two of us. That would be nice. Lenny wants to see us in the pool room. Lenny said... What are you drinking, Gary? I'll have a pint, mate. What about me? Close the door behind you, yeah? Right. According to this Barry Jones, Andriarchos is collecting slabs of heroin from a container lorry heading out of Tilbury Docks. And he reckons there's going to be 40 grand on board to pay for this, mate. How many bodies? Well, Barry reckons three at the most. We've got a driver, the lookout, and a money man. But these boys have done it so often, they're getting a little bit complacent. They don't even rotate the drop. The last three times I've done it, it's been in exactly the same place. There's a little track, it's just down from the drop-off site. So Bobby, Dan, Phil, you're going to jump Andriarchos and his blokes as soon as they pull in, right? Just take them by surprise. It's an in-and-out job. You rob that money, pull the trigger. Usual clothes, everyone carries. You unload a barrel each into the bodies, we're all tied then, aren't we? Stops anyone pointing the finger for murder if the old Bill come calling. What about me? You are going to be the first swap over when the job's done. There's a little pub about five miles down the road. Boys will drop off the van there, take your motor to the next meeting place, get Bobby's van out to a field somewhere, torch it. You, Sophia, get rid of yours. No forensics, no comebacks. Bingo. I only just got that car. You pull this one off, son. And go and get yourself a brand new one, can't you? He somehow got it into his head that there's still something going on between us. I mean, that's absurd, isn't it? He tried it once before. It was a disaster. It's my fault, I know. I proposed to someone else, but I suppose that was my way of avoiding rejection. And that's what I thought you'd do when you come back from the cruise. I didn't think that I was good enough. <laughs> Timing never was my strong point. I'll see you tomorrow. Nurse! Nurse! Right, I'll see you back here, six o'clock, yeah? What's your problem? Didn't realise we weren't even allowed to look at you now. Oh, I forgot. 
You're the main man, the big cheese. What's the matter with you, eh? You got your panties in a twist. They're cutting the blood off to your head. Oh, it's, it's just a drink talking. Lena, leave him. Come on, then. to you, eh? You can come and have a go if you want. He's losing it, Gary. How about it, bruv? You and me, we can take Lenny. Have you heard yourself? What happened to blood being thicker than water? Come on, then, man. Sort me out. Yeah, you enjoy knocking women about as well, dear. Hey? Eh? What? Sorry, girls, I mean. Lane's only 16. You're welcome to Lenny and his mates. Me and Degsy, we got other plans. But Elaine, you can't stand it, can you? I finally got something you want. You touch it again, and I swear. Tell you what, when I get home, I'll give her one from you. Go on, then! I'm not gonna stoop to your level. <laughs> and there was me, thinking you were just a coward. Gov. Yeah, the deal's on, and they're armed. Hurry up, get her down. Call the crash team. Before she's in BF. Tell them to hurry up. You'll be all right. You will be all right. You will be all right. You will be all right. <laughs> oh. What is it this time, Brian? Hmm? Save yourself a journey. Thanks. Why are you so jumpy? <laughs> This is your handwriting. No, not me. Who've you told about this? <sighs> Who've you told about this? Joe and Degsy sat here, didn't they? They wanted me to draw them a map. Have you got a knife on you? Huh? Have you got a knife? Give me a bottle opener. Uh. Oh, I don't believe it. What's up? Kids around here, look. We ain't got time to change it now. Get on the phone to Mark, tell him, get his motor down here as soon as. You better keep your mouth shut. Unless you want me to tell Lenny or a grass, you better tell me exactly what Joel said to you. I can't remember. Think. Where did he say he was going? You're hurting me. Think what Lenny's gonna do. <laughs> he told Degsy to meet him at his place with his car. They're gonna rip the money for the drugs deal. As soon as Lenny's blokes rob the Greek bloke, they're gonna move in. Joel! Come on, it's me, Gary. <laughs> Quit your heart, you said. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He thinks we're together. He thinks you stop it away. I think he told my friends, get Jesus. Yeah, can I have an ambulance, please, for four Stanby House, Walworth? Assault victim. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> What's happening? She has all the signs of internal bleeding. Sometimes these things are hard to detect until they reach crisis point. But what kind of crisis? The surgical team are doing all they can. Tell me, straight, please. It, it could be the liver. If the liver's damaged, it's not good news. We can just sit and wait. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Bye, bye. Go. What's he doing here? He trying to blow your cover. Where's my brother? 
What the hell has Joe got to do with all of this? Joe was going to rob Boswell's boys once they'd moved in on Andriarchos. Joe was going to double cross his own friends. Looks like my brother's just moved up a league. Next time on The Bill. Now where's your brother? I don't know. You think I'm a map, do you? Dexter! Lennon! Where's Joe? One down, one to go. He's right, Gary. The safest place for Joe right now is in custody. Ah, He's a copper!